Hey! How's it going? Yeah, you! Welcome back to the very beginning of Pokémon Emerald! <laughs> Kidding! I better scare most of you when I said that. But in the last episode, we took care of our father and beat him. We got HM Surf and we surfed around, uh, Petalburg City. No, I think it's Petalburg. Yeah, I think it's Petalburg, I'm not sure. In this episode, the reason I'm in my house... Well, I need to talk to my mom real quick. What's that, honey? A Poke... Okay. I forgot to do this, so apparently I forgot to go back home and register my own mother. Hey, lad, here's something from your mom. Oh, okay, if you defeat Dad, then you get an amulet coin. I didn't know that. Okay, so let me tell you about the amulet, amulet coin. I wasn't expecting that. I thought you weren't, what, didn't get an item from her. But the amulet doubles the money if your starter holds, uh, I mean, the leading Pokemon holds it. That is very nice. I did not see that coming. But anyways, uh, what I'm doing in here is you can also decorate your room with decorations. Um, as you can see, we have two dolls. You can't use plants, really? Oh, that sucks. But I'm going to be placing a Torchic doll uh, right here. Um, we'll also place the little tad doll with it. Just kind of represent my team in general start. I will get a Ralts in the Slack off too, so that will make it quite nice adjustments. But enough of this uh, crazy stuff. Let's go on to why we're really here. Oh god, please don't run into a Okay. Yes! Okay, good. Did not want that to happen. So, I believe if you surf over here, you can get an item. No, that's not... Maybe it's the different area. Please don't run into any wild Pokemon. Is there even grass on... I mean, not grass. Water on the other side? I'm glad to see. Fudge! Well, we just ran into pointless water. So that was a complete waste. Uh, we already did the water in Pillowbuck Woods. Um, so what I'm going to be doing next is... Come on! Marrow, you and your schemes! Anyways, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be surfing all the way down to Doofer Town because there is something I need to get. So, a couple seconds and I'll meet you guys over in Doofer Town. Phew, that was a long and annoying battle, but down here you can find a protein. Uh, that's good. I might actually... Well, I'm going to be saving that towards our next Pokemon that we're going to be getting, which is in this episode. Normally it was going to be in... A much later episode, but uh, someone else already took it and I did not want to be a wrap up. I'll explain a little bit about that later. But for now, let's go ahead and hand on over to Doofort Town, which is about a couple seconds. There we go. And now that we have five badges, I believe one of these houses can give us a TM. Yeah, let's see. Um, how many would know? Not you. Um, there is some guy that loves poison for some odd reason. I don't know why, but. Are you it? Let's see. Where dries on the silk Oh, we forgot the silk scarf! <laughs> and that's an item we also missed in here, so this is a kind of a makeup thing as well. If I'm maybe because kind of a bit of a brawling, everybody analyzes this. Okay, where is this guy that gives you a TM? Um, I know there is a guy that gives you a TM. Maybe. Oh, come on, please let me in here. Another hit machine. Oh my god. Excuse me while I try to find this guy. Well, I'm officially the biggest idiot. It's in Dufort Hall, which I believe... Is this it? Yep. This is it. Remember Disaster Lady? This is where we want to go. For me, Sludge Bomb is at the peak of popularity. It's the one. Hana, you're telling me that you don't know about Sludge Bomb? That's alright, pitiful! I'll give you one! And for that, we get TM36, which contains Sludge Bomb. Now, this is a pretty good poison type move, and it's also a hint to our next Pokemon we're gonna be catching. Again, uh, I'll tell you about what Pokemon we're gonna get later on. But for now, I'm gonna meet you guys back to where we last were. Well, actually, up ahead of two towards Resturbio City. So, see you guys then. More annoying water and trainers to face. I hate that. That took quite some time. But, anyways. I believe if you surf around here, you can get a couple items. Dang! Sorry, it's on the other side. <laughs> My bad. But yes, as I said before, the other side, please, no one Pokemon. Okay, good. 
all this is for a PP up. Now, I'm saving my PP ups for a move that we're going to be teaching on Lumbrae way later in the game, so it's best if you save them. Actually, I should learn to uh, move my stuff to the PC. Again, this is going to be mainly focusing on some little side quests that you can do with Surf. Uh, one of them being up here, so we can get past Rasterio City. There we go. And now we are at Route 115. Awesome sauce. So now remember the, that little annoying path. You no longer have to go here, which is very nice. But however, we are going to need to serve twice. But that's okay. I, if you have surf, you can easily get our Sturbio City and come on, no water Pokemon, please. Yes! Okay. Alright, so this is a newer area, and this is only exclusive if you have HM Surf. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, so close. Oh well. A good battle's good, I guess. Wow, I was at level yes, at level 31, water sport is its only move. Uh water sport, if you don't know, weakens the power of fire type moves. So it's a very... Wow, you look sexier today. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a not very important um, move if... Well, for Lombre, it's pretty decent. Later in another generation, there's a Pokemon that can actually learn this move and actually has a great advantage towards it. Anyways, come up here, we get TM1 Focus Punch. Now I'm keeping this move and I'm going to teach it onto another Pokemon. But later on in another city, we can actually go ahead and uh, do something with it. Um, now I believe we take a muck bike. That's right, a muck bike up here. Zoom! Uh, what's in here? Nothing. Okay, figured that would work. Figured that one out. Um, and all the way down here, you can get an iron. Really, focus punch should have been down here. I don't know why they had an iron in here, but you know what? What the heck ever. No, it's not really gonna matter. And while we're here in the upper upper route part of this Route 105, me and, and my missing up. I guess I'll meet you guys near the other end of this route, starting now. Here we are at the other end of this cave, Route 114. Luckily, we have battled all the trainers here, so we don't have to worry about any of uh, that bullcrap. There's our secret base, we're not going to go in there this time, because there is a couple things we can use with Surf Blaze. I'm very the guy, no. Yes. Come on. Yes. Okay, so I believe if you use Surf over here, you can get another secret base area, which is not what we want, but I guess to avoid water, we'll go ahead and go over here. I do not want to go over towards the Fisher. Instead, let's take a nice shortcut over here. And I believe on the left side, like up here, no, not up here, but that was pointless then. Why did I use surf? Oh, I see, in case you want to get a shortcut over there. Highly undoubted, but I guess that works. Oh, while we're here, there, we're coming close to the area I want to catch my uh, final teammate. So, I'll meet you guys down there in just a sec. I know this episode was full of cuts, but you know what? It's totally worth it. Remember this place, guys? This is where our final teammate will be in. Now, um, I'll explain a little bit, little bit more, but there were, I plan on having another teammate, but I'll be talking about that once I find the team member, which has a 2% chance. And no, it's not Machamp. Do you think Machamp has a 2% chance? I think they're like the second most common Pokemon in here. Not completely sure, to be honest, so... Let's keep searching, and uh, I'll probably cut it after like three Pokemon, even though I highly doubt it'll be like on the second encounter. Okay, for a moment, it kind of looks shiny there for a moment. <laughs> wow, what a, I'm well, To be completely honest, I am colorblind. So I tend to mix colors up very easily, like what well, you saw right there was a regular dark orange when I thought was actually... Isn't shiny Slugma black or something? I don't really know. Um, this isn't it. However, it's pretty close. It's very similar to this Pokemon. It is a poison type, and I know if you've watched my Fire Red, you've, we've already seen an Arbok. Why bother getting another poison type Pokemon? Well, you know, we'll see in just a moment. 
Well, actually, I'm just gonna skip this until we find the Pokemon that we're looking for. That way it isn't too much of a hassle for you guys. Oh. My. Gosh. It took almost 45, almost an hour to find this Pokemon. And I'm not even going to bother finding it again just to find a male. This is Grimer. In this game, and in Ruby, is a 2% chance. In Sapphire, it's increased by 23%, making it 25. Now, I'm honestly scared of using Fireball. So, I'm gonna swap into a child just to play it safe, and this is why I also have Slush Bomb on this Pokemon. Now, normally, the Pokemon I was gonna be using instead of this was Absol, but since I found out Sugar Conroy was using a Absol, and I kind of wasted my life, might waste my time, and you all were- Oh, wow. Oh, oh, jeez. Well, it looks like Volk's not gonna be the hero. Well, it would be nice if he was the hero, but... Should I, or should I not? Uh, I'm gonna see how much strength does. Hopefully it doesn't kill. Yes! Oh my god! I freaked out for a moment. I thought it actually killed the Grimer. <laughs> but, again... Uh, Sugar Khan was using Asshole, so I was like, what am I gonna use for another Pokemon? And for those of you who have followed me on Fire Red, I did- I am using Arbok. And since, of course, Muck is one of those underused Pokemon, I, I was originally gonna be using Relief, that's what I was thinking, but, again, since, I don't know, I figured this might be good. Repeat Ball, Great Ball... Let's see, I'm gonna waste a repeat ball, just because I want to for some odd reason. It's not likely to catch it. <laughs> nope! <laughs> I wanted to break it out, break, bust it anyway, so... I guess that's a fair ship. Okay, wow, that is... Ultra Ball or Great Ball? Let's use an Ultra Ball, I was gonna say uh, Ultra Ball for Absol, but I am going to catch it just to actually mention it. It's gonna catch it. <laughs> I know it, there we go! So, our final team member, officially changed, has been caught. So, it kind of changes, like, how, um, not, this might be, well, this will be way after I upload episode 15 of Emerald, how I decided to replace Hitmonlee with Arba because of underappreciation. The same thing applies to Grimer, since, of course, now, since Jeff Connor is using Absol, everyone's gonna be using Absol, and if I used Absol, people will be like, Oh my god, you can't be Shirka Conroy! You are such a noob, even though I originally let's play this game way before he did. So I'm gonna give this a really nice nickname, so be back in a couple seconds. Meet Oogie! If you don't know what that name came from, it's Oogie Boogie from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Ha! Watch Disney copyright me now <laughs> for using their name on a grimer. Um, even though it doesn't look technically like Oogie Boogie, it Later on, it evolves at level 38, which is a long time for a Pokémon to evolve. Of course, Bulk faints now, but I'm also out of Repel, so... But anyways... Uh, later on in evolution, at level 38, it becomes, in my opinion, a lot more like Oogie Boogie. Kind of thinking about it now, it's kind of like... Uh... That's all I want to talk about during this one. Now, I have to go back and train. I'm going to be training it off-screen before we take on another extreme side quest. So that is, well, mainly going to be doing a whole bunch of side quests for this part, and mainly that's about it. Nothing really too special. Of course, there is one more I might take on this episode, not completely sure. But first, I'm going to train uh, Grimer off-screen to our current level, which is level 30, or should I say Oogie. So I'll be right back, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Alrighty, so after much training on Oogie, Oogie is now at the same level, which is at level 31. Also, its nature is sassy, which is a very nice nature to have for this Grimer. Uh, main reason is, Grimer is a very special defensive Pokémon, which is good towards the final two gym leaders, which mainly use special attacks, well, one, of, one out of the two. And the Elite Four also use special attack moves, so this is one of the reasons why I wanted to get Grimer, instead of Absol, because of his main special defense. Now let's go ahead and talk to him. Oh, Blake. You look like you have a lot of zip. That's a good thing. Wahaha! <laughs> Fine, I decided I need a favor, Blake. Belleville has an underground sector called New Belleville. I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator has been running a bit haywire. It's getting unsafe. 
there is a key to get. This is the key to get to the basement. And we obtained the basement key, so this is a very nice, a uh, very worthy once you do this. This is actually one of the more important side quests that you can do. Um, the steam you can get afterwards, uh, a lot more valuable if you do the side quest rather than uh, getting it from the uh, the slots and stuff. Dang, I forgot this race super propels. Luckily, I have like 15 of those. Actually, I have more than 15. I have 20, so... Okay, there they are. I'm going to be spraying a lot of super propels, even though I think Grimer needs some gaining of experience. Now, I know there is a hidden item. No, not a hidden item, but a regular item around here. I might get that off screen. I might not. It just really depends. So here we are in New Malville, that quick. The door is locked. Use the basement key. How do you get that in there? Do you just, like, set it off or something? I don't know. Uh, yes, we want to push the blue switch. That's a very important thing. Now, is the green switch necessary? And, yeah, it is necessary. <laughs> My bad. So, this is a very nice side quest. Uh, there are some items, and then there are some traps based on items. This, for example, is an item, which is an escape rope, which we'll be using uh, pretty much... Well, we, I think we have more than enough escape ropes, so we may not even have to use them. Here is a trap. These contain Voltorbs. Now, if you don't remember... Good thing I didn't say, I thought it was shiny, because it isn't shiny. Now, if you remember Voltorbs being traps in the Team Rocket segment of Pokemon Crystal, at least that's what I believe it was, either that was just coughing in Grimers. I'm not completely sure about that, you can give me details on that since, of course, I have not played Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal in such a long time. Great, Propels Effect wore off. How am I supposed to do this single-handedly without running into any friggin' Magnemites Magnetons? Oh, well, speaking of those two, you can also find Electrodes and Magnetons in here, which is a very, which are two very nice Pokemon. No, oh, I believe it's on the left. Yes! Sweet. Um, little tip, always go for the green. It, they can really give you items that are really good. Okay, so... Green! Yes! But however, I'm probably gonna train, get, use this Voltorb just to train Uggy a little bit. Good thing Grimer has some special defense, right? Right, exactly. Anyone's supposed to be done up here? Run up here. Uh, before I turn off the switch, I want to grab this, which is the Thunderstone. Now, the only Pokemon in this game that has the Thunderstone ability to use is Pikachu. Of course, I'm not going to be using Pikachu since, of course, Pikachu might be one of those more used Pokemon. Now, what I'm going to be doing is using the Escape Rope to GTFO. If I can... Yes, there it is. Oh, also I should be using the Protein Iron that I found. That would come in handy, so I'll, well, I'll meet you guys in Mathel City. i got to do a couple things with Grimer real quick. That was actually a pretty easy mission. Thanks to the Super Repel, otherwise this would be very annoying. Speaking of which, it already went off. Uh, there's also a move tutor that can teach you rollout in here, so we might be doing that later. Well, ha ha ha, I knew it, like, I knew I'd made the right choice asking you. As a thanks, here's a TM containing Thunderbolt, a very nice electric type, considering the accuracy and power-wise. Accuracy, it can always, oh, it can always hit. It's not like Shockwave where it never misses. It has 100 accuracy. Now, the, I want to teach this to the Garfire, but not quite yet, because there are some gen leaders that use double team, and we want to save those for later. But what, uh, what I am going to do is I am going to be crossing this water, since, of course, we've done all the missions we have made with water types. And you guys again, really? Now, I believe this guy gives you the super rod. Good rod. <laughs> That's right, I meant. Really? A super rod? Really? Like, this early, this early in the game? What am I thinking? Come on. Yes, there we go. Alright, so... Now we talk to Steven here. Hi, Blake. It's me, Steven. We've met near Dewford. Have you met many kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? There are many kinds of Pokemon in this wild world of ours. If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you'll find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. No, no. Don't, don't give me that advice again. Of course, it's not any of my business. It would be nice if we were to meet again somewhere. And we're made sacked by those little spoilers to the Elite Four, he is the champion over there. But since, of course, this is not Ruby and Sapphire, he is not the champion. He is way beyond champion, and I'm not going to spoil what that is. Here we have introduction to new berries, which is citrus berries. 
in this game, it restores 30 HP, um, and later on in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, I think it raised it to probably either half of its HP or like a quarter of its HP. I'm not completely sure. We also have... Um, I'm gonna battle this guy off screen real quick, and then I'll end the episode off. Is that okay with you guys? I hope it is. Nothing can stop the Oogie Boogie Man! Right? So, we officially end things off here. In the next episode, we'll be taking on Route 119 with our brand new Pokémon, which is seven levels away from becoming our final team member of this game. So, comment and subscribe, be sure to share this with friends, and I did not mean to collect Pokémon again. Uh, and also be sure to comment. So until then, peace out, and let's talk to this guy. Shh, it's a no-go, the tall grass snares bikes tires, there's no way you can cycle here. Spoilers alert.